Last week, the unexpected happened when Shioma Nikola Kwakuti, the son of the late legendary Afro Mestru Fela Nikola Kwakuti, slapped a police officer. And that is what we're going to be dealing with today. The nuances, what transpired, what could have led to that altercation is all we're going to deal with today. So now, the topic for that, this conversation is, is Shion Kuti a chief of the old block? That's the topic for today. So this video is in response to that, when that unexpected happened, when Shion Kuti slapped the policeman. Most Nigerians, you know, rose up in condemnation of this act, surprisingly. I use the word here, surprisingly, because, of course, we all know that there's no lo love lost between the Nigerian police and most Nigerians. So what would have expected that most Nigerians would have endorsed, you know, what Shion did and that police, the police has finally met, um, you know, its match. So that's what we would have expected considering the you no know, love laws between the Nigerian police and, um, you know, most Nigerians. At this point, and what comes to mind, it's, of course, all the police brutalities that uh, most Nigerians have been going through. And um, in, not too long ago, the answers agitation and all that so most nigerians would have felt that okay yeah finally the police you know they made their match so but surprisingly this wasn't to, to to be as most nigerians rose up in condemnation of this act and they probably felt that shown had in fact that he he took his hunger too far you know and because the being a police officer and then in uniform and one would have thought that maybe uh, Shion could have, of course, employed some form of restraint in whatever must have triggered off this untamed and uncaught behavior from Shion, which of course has led to his incarceration <laughs> almost a week now. So, however, most Nigerians didn't know what really transpired between uh, Shion and this policeman because the police, the police officer in question is actually um, a driver with the Nigerian police and then it was dangerously drunk driving which of course would have in fact put the lives of other motorists including that of Shion in danger but the question is even though the police officer was drunk driving dangerously on the express road was Shion justified in slapping the police officer that is the question. Was he really justified in slapping the police officer? In spite of the fact that the police officer was drunk driving dangerously, could that have given the impetus for the slap that Shun gave the police officer? So that's what you're going to be dealing with now because now you can see the ordeal Shun is going through in the hands of the police. We all know Nigerian police. At the moment it, you get into their trap, if an offense that is available, they'll, they'll keep bringing bringing up new things that would further you know keep you in, in detention and then either they would, say, they would tell you that that if you allow them bill that they, it, a likelihood of a flight rate so if they, if they let you off for a bailable offense of course it was a slap of course it's bailable but they'll tell you just because they want to keep you in, in custody and then they'll go ahead to tell the judge that oh they are still even when they say okay of course in Sean's case he was they were given an and for the aid asked to let him off so that he could be bailed even when he came with his uh, his own lawyer. But you know the Nigerian people, like, can you come and slap us? Slap us, slap us, and you want to go scot free. It's never gonna happen. You can't get off the hook so quickly, so easily. So that's what they say. And now they're saying that she oh, they're still investigating now. There's so many reports going on that uh, they have to uh, you know uh, draw Shion's blood to ascertain that it's is not on dangerous drugs and stuff like that just to keep it just to keep him in cell or incarceration so is Sean Kuti really an activist I ask this question because activists don't go around slapping uniform personnel a real activist is the one that understands the law and respects it and for a Grammy nominee one would have expected that the coveted achievement as a Grammy nominee would have conferred some form of responsibility astuteness, circumspection, candor, humility, and above all civility on Shion. So why is Shion's case different? 
because they say the the more laurels achievement that you 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 gather and then you adorn these laurels around your sitting room or your library and that it will actually make you more circumspect and then humble so why is Sean's case different i'm just really asking this question why is Sean's case different so how did it fall from such a lofty height as a grammy nominee to this object of satire as to slapping a police officer no matter the provocation i don't buy i don't buy that same um, story that um, because um, the policeman is was uh, dangerously drunk driving and then um, putting road users you know uh, into danger and for that reason that gives you the impetus to dishonor because he's because this policeman is wearing is 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 wearing the, the uniform which represents which represent the country. So no matter what that policeman has done, I, I still feel that there should have been a better way of accosting or trying to talk sense into the policeman or make him see and the danger of what he was doing rather than you uh, <laughs> being violent. Because for me, uh, you just been violent striking striking a police officer. What if? Uh, one is drunk. One, you're not even uh, endangering yourself. You're putting yourself in danger because uh, if we know what police officers are in Nigeria, some of them they lack you know professional restraint. They, they are very. Some of them, you know, um, apologies to the very professional and um, you know ethical police officers that we have there. But some of them are very unethical and unprofessional. Um, what if, in the course of trying to that during that altercation, the policeman, you know, bring, um, uh, he, he brought out this um, rifle and then gunned you down and then tossed you into the lagoon, you know, just like one of the police officers said that uh, Nigerians should even be happy that Shion Kuti was not found in in the lagoon on the Ted Mainland Bridge because, the, of course, he's speaking he's speaking the mind of. Um, what most Nigerians would think and most police officers, that's what they would do. So why would you endanger yourself just because you want to, you know, carry out certain correction? That's, that's, that's my own humble view on this. I just felt that no matter what happened, Shion Kuti would have, you know, restrained himself considering how he's, he's been viewed by the public being a celebrity. And we all know how they view celebrities in this part of the world. Uh, millions of fans out there see celebrities as a role, as their role models, and then they, they want they want their, they want to mirror their life. You know, seeing you with that kind of violent disposition, of course, <laughs> you know what it to do to their psyche. So that's just my take. The thing, he was justified in slapping the police officer. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now coming to Coming back to our topic, if Sheung is really a chief of the old block, I mean, we all know who Fela Nicola Kwakuti was, the legendary Afro maestro who birthed Sheung, and his run of music is recognized all over the world. And we all know, you know, his altercation, his row with the past that be has recalcitrant you know, as Fela was, and his fears and unbending posture with the government was indeed mitigated by Fela's civility because he, Fela would never cross the line as to, you know, behaving like a street urchin. He knew his boundaries. In spite of the fact that he was very fierce and unbending. He had this fierce and unbending posture of the government, but he still that was still mitigated, you know, by his civility and his ability to, you know, not to cross the line. So he knew when not to cross the line. As to, I mean, slapping a policeman, I don't think Fela would ever indulge in that kind of very, very debasing, uncivilized attitude. I don't think so. So that's why I brought the question up. If Show indeed was a chip of the old block, I would bet not for copyright. I would, I would have loved to play, you know, some form of philosophy that's, you know, that really 
talks about uh, what the sun is going through at the moment. I wish I could just play that here, but because of copyright, I can do that. Okay, so, you know, getting serious here. For me, slapping a police officer was the height of irresponsibility from Shion, no matter whatever explanation anybody is coming here to give. Yes, just like I have said, you know, why I disagree strongly with those who um, try to justify Shion's action because maybe the, the policeman um, was drunk driving and also the fact that police officers are, you know, they are the bastion of um, cruelty, constantly debasing the dignity of, you know, of Nigerians as the end SARS sky readily comes to mind at this point. So, so to me, it is ludicrous to think that because of that, Shion is justified in slapping the police officer. I don't, I don't think so because I, I, I just feel that a police slapping a uniformed policeman whose full regalia represents his country. I don't think Fela would have come that low, you know, to you know slapping a police officer. So even if even if the policeman disrespected himself, what about the uniform he was wearing, which is a representation of the country? So that Chung should have understood, should have understood the symbolism of that uniform the policeman was wearing. That's my point. Because I don't think the father would have come this low. And I asked this question. Didn't show you learn anything from the father's music? Like I said, I wish I could play that here, but because of copyright, I don't dare do, do, do that. So, didn't he learn anything from the father's music? So, no matter what, because what if someone is actually setting trap for you and you blindly walked into that trap? And, of course, does it look like a trap? He's trapped in the cell. He's there. They're, they're denying bail. Police, the police, of course, we all know who the police are. They will bring churn up. I've said it earlier on. They'll bring up all kinds of um, delaying tactics to keep him there, that he cannot be granted bill, and that is a flight risk. Besides, you're still investigating. He has to they come up with it. Ah, these are police now. We know them. We know what they do. They'll keep him there. So, could it be that someone was setting a trap for Sean and then Sean just blindly walked into that trap? I don't know. I'm just asking. And I think another part that I strongly disagree, I strongly disagree with Sean's sister. I can't remember her name right now. I'm, I'm not sure it's Yeni Kuti. I'm not sure that it's Yeni Kuti. For her to come out to say um, she's, she stands by the brother, is justified that the brother slapped the policeman, that after all, this is not a new thing in the family, and that they've been going around slapping uniform men. I say, really? Going around slapping uniform men? Is it? Is that an achievement? Is, is, it, is it a generational cause to you to go around slapping uniform men? Come on. I, 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 don't, I don't think that is proper coming, coming from a woman that is supposed to be more compassionate. Shun, you're a celebrity. Millions of fans out there are looking up to you as a role model. So why would you let them down? Why would you, you know, allow um, you, <laughs> your anger to take a better part of you. I know we all have our demons within us, but of course, you don't go around and celebrate displaying all those demons out there and then being captured in camera. Come on, that's, that's really, that wasn't a wise decision, Shun. Come on, no, 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 no matter what you shouldn't, shouldn't have done, done so. So, are there lessons to be learned here? Of course there are lessons to be learned here, Shun. I had said so. You're a celebrity. You have millions of fans all over the world looking up to you, that you are in the public eye, and that as such, proper and responsible behavior is demanded of you at all times, whether you're right or you're wrong. That's the point I'm trying to make. So, show of all people should have known that such an untamed behavior by slapping a police officer would, of course, net you die consequences, will put you in hot police soap. I believe he is well schooled and vested in law to know that even though the person wearing the uniform is irresponsible. But that uniform is symbolic in a way. It represents your country. You, we, should be, we should be respected. You're not really respecting the policeman. Of course, we all know who they are. So we're just simply respecting the uniform that they're wearing. So I strongly believe that she should have been well schooled in these areas of law and social conduct. You know, so that he will know how to behave when it's out there confronted with the high dreaded police officer. You're lucky, Oga, when you were not shot. Drunk police officer. 
and you went and opened your eyes and you were slapping him. Bele, sorry, you're lucky. Uh, that would be all for today. Thank you for finding the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Strike on that notification bell so that you get to be notified whenever I upload a video like this. Leave your comment down below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you some other time pretty soon, of course.